10, the Albuquerque man who murdered his parents decades ago faces a judge on grisly new charges. Mitchell Overhand asked a judge to release him as he awaits trial on charges for kidnapping and beating a man. The kidnapping victim survived, but the case launched a homicide investigation into a possible second victim who police say is missing. News 13's Lizay Mitri has new details tonight. Jessica Dean Overhand, the killer convicted as a teen, is one of now three people following a new arrest overnight accused of torturing a man two weeks ago. And police are asking for the public's help to figure out what may have happened to a second victim. 45-year-old Mitchell Overhand walked into district court this afternoon, the first time we've seen him since his charges for kidnapping and aggravated battery, and decades after he was convicted for killing his parents in 1988 in their Paradise Hills home. He was 16. I'm sorry. This time, police arrested Overhand, Chase Motherman, and overnight, Chase's 19-year-old girlfriend, Mariah Ferry, for beating a man at Chase's home in the Westgate area with a bat and a stick. The victim told police his attackers forced him to look at a computer screen with a picture of his best friend, John Soika, dead and sexually mutilated, telling him, look what we had to do. The victim says it was about drug money he knew nothing about. And after four hours, Overhand told everyone to stop and they let the victim go. The case launched an investigation into Soika's whereabouts. Now police are trying to find the person who helped these three two weeks ago when they were stuck in the sand somewhere west of Rio Rancho but east of the Rio Puerco. They were driving a Chevy Silverado similar to this with the license plate AAZL91. And police say knowing exactly where that happened could help in finding Soika. In court today, the state asked a judge to hold overhand in jail on no bond. His defense argued that until now, Overhand hadn't picked up new charges since getting out of prison in 2010 and that Overhand was the one to stop the beating he's charged with. He's probably the reason this person's alive. The judge decided for the safety of the community, Overhand would stay behind bars. I am going to grant the state's motion to detain Mr. Overhand. While in prison, records show two separate convictions for Overhand for having a deadly weapon as a prisoner. Then when he got out, prosecutors say he racked up a few probation violations until his probation was revoked in 2013. Back to you. All right, thank you, Lizzie. Smotherin is also in jail on no bond. His girlfriend wasn't arrested until yesterday after police say jail calls between the two of them showed they were trying to get their story straight and even talking about getting married so they wouldn't have to testify against each other.